It's just something gritty on his skin. It just feels very, oh, almost just like the fingernails on the chalkboard. <laughs> Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Hey guys, we got the new Gujitsu Galaxy Blast Air Vax, and they really suck. I mean, hopefully they do. Well, first of all, we have the Air Vax Steel Thrash and then the Air Vax Blazagon. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one here. Let's look at Steel Thrash. Okay, you can see it's the Galaxy Blast and it's Air Vax Steel Thrash. He's got the power pump because he's here to pump you up. And it shows you can pump out the air and then once you pump out the air, he's more stretchable. I mean, if you took all the oxygen out of me, I think you could do anything. Pose holds in place. So wherever you stretch him to, he'll stay there. And then it stretches up to three times the size. Now for the back. Also available, AirVac Blazagon. And it's subject availability. Well, we've been waiting for a while. Now they're available. Now they're subject to us. Oh, cool, cartoons. I like these. With his new AirVac power suit, Steel Thrash can battle like never before. This galaxy isn't big enough for the goo of us. But he's not the only one. It's time for Vac Attack. Thwack, who will rule the galaxy? And then you can see he's a good guy. He's got the paw there. And we got the steps down below and how to work this. First, you have to pump the head to remove L. Support neck when pumping. It takes 30 pumps to reach full vacuum. I think the last one we did with Orbitox was up to 100. I mean, you get more mileage out of him when you can suck as much as you can out of him. Uh, number two, stretch limbs only. Do not pull from head. Do not stretch over three times its length. Three. Strike a pose. Bend and pose. Do not twist or not limbs. To release vacuum, push down on the head while pressing the release button. Always release vacuum when finished playing. I mean, do you really want him to sit here all night, you know, while he's waiting for you to come play with him? That's cruel and unusual. I'd just be tempted just to hear him go Psss, as you release it. Don't forget the warning. Do not heat or microwave. Do not bite or pierce. Do not leave in direct sunlight. Do not leave in vehicle a hot day. Uh, too hot. Got to get on vehicle. I just had to pick up the warnings. They just seem so boring. Do not wrap or tie product around anyone's neck, arm, or leg. Keep away from pets. Caution not suitable for children under the age of three. Adult supervision should be encouraged for young children. Do not submerge in water when releasing vacuum seal. Why, boys and girls? Get out of water. Go inside him. He won't feel okay. Water ingress may damage toy and prevent function. Always release vacuum when finished playing. Important excessive stretching or abrasion may damage toy. Discard of broken or ruptured character immediately. Please retain packaging details for future reference. Colors and contents may vary. Handling instructions. Maximum stretch up to three times the length. Excessive stretching may damage toy. Didn't they already say that man before? <laughs> now it's in red. Oh, I'm totally looking at it. Head is exclusively for vacuum control and should not be regular. <laughs> First of all, it was hard saying regulus, regulus, rigorously. <sighs> But just to see that word in there, such a funny <laughs> word. Because <laughs> couldn't they say just like violently? <laughs> so don't rigorously pull to stretch the character. Stretch character by pulling limbs only. Do not twist limbs when stretching or twist over one rotation to avoid damage. For best performance and longevity, keep at room temperature. <laughs> Contents, one stretchy thingy. Okay, let's go ahead and open them up. Uh, because we're toy collectors, you've got to open up the right way. Actually, they have a little tab over here. You see that little uh, extension there of the plastic? I mean, you could like bend your thumb down and then get your other thumb to, oh, I hope this doesn't tear the packaging. Oh, it's just, it's gonna cut into this beautiful pic. Oh no, it actually did a, a roundabout there. <laughs> it came around and about my way. Oh, look at that, that's nice, strike those. There's something different about him. Can't quite place my finger on it, but I do. He's right here. Oh, it's, it's just something gritty on his skin. It just feels very, oh, almost just like the fingernails on the chalkboard. <laughs> It feels cool though. I haven't felt the chalkboard since I got in trouble and had to write over and over again. I will not throw racers at the teacher. Okay, we gotta give you a close up here, guys. Look at the paw right there, you see he's a goo guy. Okay, there's the front and there's the back and there's the button. Hey, you push his button and he's going to inflate. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just stretch him normally. So it's got plastic pellets inside of him. And, ooh, ooh, I bet he could bring very well. Well, without the air being sucked out of him. So let's go ahead and just do that. So when it comes to like getting the air out of them, it's on the pull that sucks the air from the inside out, okay? So you gotta pull one, two, three, four. Let's do it on the table. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 7, 28, 29, 30. I don't know, 100 work really well for us with Orbitox, so 30. 41 for 2, for 3, for 4, for 5, 6, 7, for 8, 9, 40, 41 for 2, for 3, for 4, for 5, for 6, for 7, for 8, for 9, 50, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61
100, it gets kind of hard to get up that high because when you pull them out, it, it just pops back in a lot faster. Okay, I think we got a lot of the air out of them. Man, that's what space does to you. That's what being 20,000 leagues underneath the sea will do to you. It'll compress your suit and just flatten you out like we're gonna do to him. I mean, this is so cool, guys. Look at that. We're gonna flatten him first, and then we're gonna take him. Oh, this is the hard part, but so cool when you can grab him and stretch him, oh, like this. Okay, we're gonna stretch his legs. Oh man, this takes a lot of muscle. <laughs> it's very good Pilates for your fingers and your arms. If you do more than just like, you know, stretching him, but you actually flatten him, I'm really gonna work him over. Okay. What do you guys think? <laughs> Help me! Go ahead, abuse your toys. That's what they're up for. No. <laughs> well, I wonder, can we like, you know, do one of these roundabouts here? Ah, eh, kind of. Ooh, let's really stretch them. Ooh, hopefully none of those little plastic pellets come zinging out. Well, let's go bring them first because the roundabout might just break them. <laughs> and then you'll know because all the air will go back in them. So here we go. Uh, see how far you can go, thrash. Ooh, that's very good. That was 25 feet. Okay, now to go ahead and release him, just uh, keep the head down, not up. Oh, because that pulls out more air. Push it down, and then push the button on the back of his head. So while we do this, I'm gonna keep his head down, gonna push with my fingers, and then push the button. Oh, that was cool. I mean, just that pumping there was just working my arms, and I feel like I'm good for the gym for the next month. So yeah, you can stretch him like this. We do roundabouts like this, or should I do roundabouts with him all sucked out? We'll do both, but if I damage him here, obviously I could be pumping a thousand times and it just won't pull out the air because there's an integrity breach. So here we go. Let's see how many roundabouts we can do them this way. Oh. That was so cool. <laughs> I don't know, can you guys actually see those pellets inside? A good uh, plastic pellets. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna suck it all out, then I'm gonna do roundabouts. <laughs> good luck. Here we go, 100 times. Count with me, boys and girls. One, two, skip a few, 99, 100. Oh, 30 is a good limit, but 100, I just feel like I get more out of them. Do this first, like get them all stretched, and then we'll do the roundabouts with them. Okay, here we go. <laughs> How many roundabouts can we do with him with no air? Ready, set, go. One, two, three. Oh, he can't handle it. <laughs> he can't handle it like that. I mean, I can see how, see, look at the beads already coming out. <laughs> it's very tight. If I kept doing it, we're definitely gonna have a breach. Right now, you can see we don't have one because <laughs> he's still flattened like a pancake. <laughs> That's what we're having for breakfast, boys. Thrash steel pancakes. <laughs> and by the way, there's hardly any good jitsus that I know of that can stand up by themselves. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Here we go. Push the head down and push the button. Oh, yeah. It just takes a lot of effort, guys. <laughs> All this pumping, we got another one. I'm glad Moose only puts out two at a time. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Our Blazagon. Galaxy Blast Airvac Blazagon. And you can see it's the power pump. And it's the same thing, pump out the air, stretch them, and you know, strike a pose. On the back, do we have anything different? Uh, it's all the same except for the cartoon. So with the cartoon, it says with his new airbag power suit, Blaze Gone can battle like never before. Not like he could battle before, could he? This galaxy isn't big enough for the goo of us. Wait, haven't I heard that before? But he's not the only one. It's time for VAC attack. Thwack, who rule the galaxy? Okay, I kind of get it. Both have the same ending. <laughs> the squid dude over talks gets a thwack. Okay, thwack away. All right, so let's just go ahead and open them up. Yeah, <laughs> I noticed something different. The tab was up here on the right side of our steel VAC thrash, but it's down here. Here, the tag on the lower left hand side. Well, let's try it down here, fine. Let's put that nasty thing away and let's pull the tab and just hope for the best. Uh, okay, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Pulled off some of the uh, box, but 
Okay, ooh, he feels the same. He's got that same chalky, gritty feel, but there's his front, right? Okay, so look, he's got the goo patch, the Paw Patrol patch, which means he's a goo guy. He's got him on his knees, and then he's got it on his back, too. That's cool, I love his flaming tongue. Look at that thing. See that? That's cool. <laughs> Um, I like his little uh, horns on the side. That's awesome. And let's just give him a good feel. I mean, guys, I think red feels different than gray. I can actually feel colors. Kids used to make fun of me when I went to school. They say, the, you know that your uh, socks are different colors? I said, I don't go by color, I go by thickness. Oh, that just feels so good, guys. It's fun stretching him. Okay, let's go ahead and give you uh, a deeper look at his inner goo. I was gonna say goots or guts. Who looks bigger? Okay, so I start stretching him, but I think you're getting a broader shoulder dude here <laughs> with our Blazagon. He just looks a little bit too skinny for me. A little anorexic, our uh, steel thrash. Let's see if it's any different. Ready for the pumps. Ready to pump you up. One, two, three, four, five. I lost count, but I'm going to 100. There's something that just really smells. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming from him, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, I was hoping it was from him. <laughs> no, he does smell like rubber cement. It's like the more I kept sucking out what was in, that inner, as they mold products, you know, the inside may not be dry. Oh yeah, maybe you wanna do this outside. In with the good, out with the bad, but then without the bad goes in with you. <laughs> so, is he getting anywhere? Oh, he's just got such a bigger body. I wonder if it's just taking him a longer time. I guess we're getting something out of him. Here we go, we'll stretch. Oh yeah, boy, he's bigger, he's fatter, like never before. Okay. <laughs> he looks great. Now stretch him. Oh, really stretch his legs. I don't know if you can stretch him too. Um, then it just starts like going skinny again. So it looks like you can either, you know, flatten them out or pull them to make them longer. So he's as flat as a pancake or as skinny as a stick. Okay, there we go. Um, we know the roundabouts, it just, <laughs> it just gets horrifying with him. But let's go ahead and deflate him. Ready? Push down his head and hit the button for like and subscribe. Oh, that's so cool. Woo! Yes, we can do roundabouts this way, guys. Oh, that's so good. Okay, can we do better than 25 feet? Oh, let's get, keep his head down. Low clearance. Oh, he can really stretch. Oh yeah, that was 30 feet. He did it. So guys, with Blazagon appearing to be a lot larger, I think, um, unless you got a favorite, I mean, Thrash is still cool looking, but he's got uh, more to work with here, just a bigger body. Super cool, guys. Which one's your favorite? Go ahead and put it in the comments below. Otherwise, I think my favorite, is Blazagon because he's bigger and he's like me and my shadow. Please click on one of these videos for more events and fun.